Yes, my people, as it is hot, it don't happen no. So, Boko Haram was a calculated game just to export our milestone from Sabisa Forest straight to international market. And this man explained in this video that as of 1999, when the former president of uh, uh, Libya and his seat for this uh, Sabisa Forest is enough to change Nigeria and is enough to produce 10 Dubai. Oh. They don't do fool us in this country. Please, my brother family, just they share this video. Let the world see what's going on. We just calculate this thing. Since 1999, according to 2023, or let me just say 2022, you will know how much don't come up from Sabisa Forest. So they, they destroy torches and mosses just to create distraction while they export our milestone from Sabisa Forest to our international market. Oh! So Nigeria not only get oil, Nigeria has to get a lot of milestone in Sabisa Forest. So did they thief our oil and did they thief our milestone through Boko Haram? Make cannot talk too much. Share this video. Let's expose the secret. In 1995, the need to look for resources to run African states became an issue. Nigeria was more or less totally bankrupt. <laughs> The need to run Nigeria became an issue. Salary payment was difficult. Then, Libyan government, along with Germany, decided to utilize a satellite from a private satellite company that has shares of government of Germany in it. They discovered uranium in abundance and in high quality, well spread in Niger. Out of curiosity, that leader and other leaders decided to say, scratch part of Nigeria and let's take a look. They were shocked with what they discovered. In Northeast, they discovered a portion. And that portion, in part of Zambiza, leading to Lake Chad. What was deposited there, I'm not, this is not hearsay. I was in Libya, I was in attendance, along with Nigeria's ambassador, two of us allowed. Then he was later told to go, and I was left alone, along with the Libyan leader and the German company and the owners of the satellite. What was kept there was capable of producing 10 Dubais, 1996. You can quote me in the eyes of this world, Mustafa Sekso. I'm not into rhetorics. I love this country, I stand for this country. We are already targeted and hated by numerous forces. Mm -hmm. But if that is what they should do for us rendering service to Nigeria, then definitely they have not started. Yes, what we discovered at that material time was a shocker. So I asked questions as if I didn't understand what they were saying. The Libyan leader then, my so rest in peace, said, and I quote, I mean, what is in this place? is enough for you to produce 10 Dubais, 1996. The product of this satellite was brought to Nigerian head of state by me. I brought the two metallic boxes. Where is it? Who took it? What happened? Where is the money? Now, now hold on. What might interest you is what I'm going to say. Nigeria is poor. Your industries are dead. But hear this. 1999, November 1st, I was in prison. They came to meet me in prison. And they asked me numerous questions on the way we were managing some certain things about Nigeria. I wouldn't want to mention. They mentioned some names and commanders they required to do some certain jobs for them. But the question I asked is, was it for Nigeria? At the end of the day, to cut the story short, is to tell you, that Boko Haram was a calculated game. No, I, I, I'm begging you. I'm begging you. See, see, I want us to listen with patriotism as Nigerians because when hopelessness confronts a person who is thirsty, unknown to him, he is standing on an oasis. He is dying of thirsty. He is looking for water and busy praying. But the sense is to dig the water and come back alive is the problem of Nigeria. You are rich, you have it, 
you are scavenging for it. Most unfortunately. Now, from that time till now, it's 23 years. People might not tell you this, I'm telling you. I'm ready to be accused, abused, it doesn't matter. I am here. Precious stone has been what they have been taken. Boko Haram, where our sons and daughters given a wrong indoctrination, taking, taking opium from Afghanistan, the hashes in the wall, mixing same wood, a certain chemical. When they dip a date in it, and then after four hours, whosoever takes it becomes a robot. You are totally robotic. You will respond to orders. You will not feel pain. You will not think. You will not reason. They kill numerous soldiers, many widows in barracks, many orphans littered all over, many uh, 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 refugees scattered around Nigeria. Is labor aware? Keep that aside. It's the social ills created for Nigeria and Nigerians. What you may ask yourself is, how much of this real stone have they taken in 23 years? What has it contributed to Nigeria's growth? Did they build one single textile with the money? Who are the Nigerians colliding with their external factors? When did it start and how many jobs work with them? Can you even quantify the number of officers, soldiers killed, traditional rulers? Can you quantify the friction created between Muslims and Christians? When a bomb is lodged is in a church, they will quickly write in the paper the next day, it was Mosque that did it, and vice versa. They bombed the mosque and blamed the church. It's not true. It's a game. So that when you fight yourself, when confusion keeps you aside, they are busy taking what you have. But you sit down. You see, you sit down and look at newspapers, and you believe in it. No, there are numerous respected journalists who are highly patriotic, who are highly respected. There are many of them I can fight for with my blood. But they are poor. They are professionals. They don't have money. They have to write what they are told to write. They need job. Who is fighting for them? Keep that aside. See, I'm my brother. Anyway, I, I, I will, I will run it out. satellite but there was a story that your satellite disappeared because if the satellite were to be around it would have given locations to your security they would have seen and known and identified and arrest numerous participants that are taking your precious stones and some notable names in Nigeria would have been mentioned suddenly there was a story your satellite disappeared the most disheartening story that only kindergarten children can accept. I tell you with all sense of humility, we investigated that, not in Nigeria. We went to numerous countries to know the game being played against Nigeria. At our own cost, taking risk to do so. What we have discovered is a shame, monumental shame, before man and before our creator. In the time to come, you will understand, because we'll address Nigeria, and it doesn't matter whose toes we stepped on, we will educate Nigeria. <laughs> Now, 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 most of you here have your telephones in your hands. Listen, listen carefully. Labo is poor, agreed. Nigeria is poor, agreed. Most of you have telephones here. Google as I talk. How much is a kilogram of rhodium in international market today? Kaduna, where you have most of your industries then, the best for the pride of all, were in Kaduna yesterday. But how much rhodium do you have in Kaduna? And how much is it per kilogram? Meaning a container is enough. Anyway, I have two minutes to go, but a container, a kilogram, hold on, 
a kilogram of it in world market today is either 440 something thousand per small kilogram. They are taking it in containers, in hundreds of containers. They find their way to the ports. They go into the international market. That is to say, if Labour can agree with the federal government, take 10 containers, you will be the richest rich, you will have your industries, you will have your market, you will have your dreams attained, your children will have all it takes, you will live well. The question is, why are we not making sense with who we are and what we have? That's what I'm talking about. Since I have a short time, my concern is security of the product, meaning Farmers Association. Second, the movement of the product. We shall, if we have the opportunity tomorrow, increase railways, because what we have created, um, nobody may believe what I'm telling you. Also, Google as I leave, what is the price of a kilogram, I didn't say kilogram, of a real stone in international market? If I say, you'll be shocked, but you have your telephones to check. As at last week, is $27,100,000. You have it in abundance. And you know why it is so? Some of you from Northeast, who is from Borno, the question you may ask, what are NGOs doing in Borno? The war is over, but they are increasing in staying there. They are the only ones going to Boko Haram. Soldiers, police, traditional rulers, citizens can go to some certain points. But the whites are going there. What are they exchanging? Who gives them the clearance in Nigeria? Which ministry is labor involved? If they are trading in, in that precious stone, what is wrong with labor not becoming the middle class so that you can have money and take off? What happened to our industries? Hundreds of millions of billions are living by the day, and we are fools. The essence of all coming to the fore, leave routines. Any person, I say this with all sense of humility, that is not, not making projections to know the quantum of threats facing Nigeria and does not prepare and doesn't have the shock absorber, the capacity, is not ready to be called names, is not ready to be accused, to be abused, to be used, all for the 2 million plus, 200 million plus Nigerians, he is a non-starter, he is a deceit, he cannot provide leadership. Nigeria is at its own beneath. So all I'm telling you is, where are you thinking cap? Think Nigeria, Look, ask questions. There are 10 million and things I can tell you, but I'm running out of time. All I'm telling you is, I'm here to share with you the pains of labor. I was in detention in 2002 and 2007. I know what happened when there was an attempt to revamp four textile industries. I know the game played. I know how much you suffered to come back to work. I know how many people died when the decision was taken in 2010. And I know when there was an attempt, even by the first speaker who talked about, was the remittances given to staff. Hope was risen and hope was dashed. Many died. They have no houses today. They are kept abandoned. It's a different thing than telling you to think with the poor, even within the labor itself. We are thinking with the poor. We are poor-oriented programs that we have. But this country must be adjusted. Nigeria must be counted among the first ten that it is. Northwest, you are from Kwara. You are from a very rich state. At the surface, you might not know. The quantity of rhodium, lithium, and gold in Kwara is enough for Nigeria. Do we know? Are we aware? Why should we be borrowing when you have too much money? How can the, what spells? All I ask before I sit down, 2022 budget. If we study it carefully, the meaning of 2022 budget to a country be devil with insecurity worse as it is today, with the challenges and the hopes of all Nigerians from babies to the oldest person in Nigeria, 2022 budget means hopelessness. The next president is to get it implemented. And if the next president doesn't have the formulas we have, Nigeria will be doomed. And I want to be quoted as saying so. The meaning here is that if you do not know how to generate wealth from within, if you don't know how to generate wealth from outside, if you succumb to fear, or if you have leaders who are busy right now going to the same people who have ruined Nigeria, going to sell themselves as their candidates, to provide leadership for Nigeria 2023, there is no bigger threat than that. I am not talking to nobody. I'm talking to God Almighty to see our hearts, to see our future, and to guide us.